All right, welcome back, Pokemon Go players, to another episode of the Purified Podcast. Today is August 11, 2022. I am your host, Luis Palacios, with my co host, Chris. Hey, it's your boy, Pokemon Trigger, please. We're back at it again. We are not bugged out. We are very excited <laughs> to talk about this week's news. Bro, we got actually a lot of news, and I'm actually happy that it, whatever yeah. dropped today, I was like, hell yeah, let's talk about it and rant about it, because it's just like, we might as well. <laughs> but we got, <laughs> we got a couple of things, of course, to cover. Uh, some recaps. I mean, it's been a week since we technically stream and technically hit a podcast. I kind of still <laughs> feel like, um, I don't know, I'm just like getting used to actually doing a podcast in the middle of the week instead of the end of the week. Uh, but then I feel yeah. like I have the whole weekend to myself, and I'm just like, yes, yes. <laughs> um, especially because, you know, news and everything usually drop around the middle of the week, and by the time the weekend comes, it's just like, oh, you're all news now. It's like, ah, and thank you, Chris. <laughs> Woo! Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, as we're here once again to talk about Pokemon Go news, updates, and ranting about the game, because we love the game just as much as you do. Don't forget to check everybody out at the Professor Network, because we are part of that, of course. Uh, wonderful two people to work with between Ken, Adam, Jamal, and Lachan from the Waste Butters podcast. So, yeah, every single podcast out there is amazing. Uh, always shout out to the other podcasts out there that we met through uh, Pokemon Go Fest. Uh, just make sure you know who you are and check them out. If you have more information, just check our Twitters. You'll see how that goes. And, yeah, how's, how's your week been, brother? How's your work been, life these days? Uh, it's been all right. <laughs> um, still getting decent distance, but uh, I don't walk as much since <laughs> we ride around on Palajax. Um, but you but only I, go I like what, 10 miles amount. per hour at best? Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we we don't go like crazy, crazy fast. They're not go cards. You just gotta put like the gold but, glass um, on or something, and you'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good idea, <laughs> right? It's like nobody's gonna say no. I mean, you're just riding it. Yeah, so. nah. <laughs> nah, I, I definitely wanted to, especially with all the spotlight hours happening. Oh yeah, definitely. But how's you? How's uh? How's your life? Well, I guess you already told me about your life. You got nothing else going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, all right. Let's, let's get a little bit of recap. Uh, let's admire the full moon in Pokemon Go for some reason. I and mean, it's kind of nice to actually see the full moon there. Is it full moon? Is that full moon in Pokemon Go? You do see that often. Ooh, get your umbrellas out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and recap your uh, shiny Sandos, PvP Mons. Uh, you know, Shandos if you have them. Then I'll kill you. <laughs> um, some cool things that uh, happened this week were uh, I actually got a shiny Bronzor, uh, which I I thought you'd get a chuckle out of. Eh, um, it's your I, Pokemon, I, man. It's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it, it's basically, like, cursed for me. <laughs> um, but uh, I think I got it at work. I want to say I was on one of my breaks and I got it at work. What's the tag um, on it? Uh, no, it had to be, I think it was from home. Ah. I, I'm pretty sure I was just in one place when I got it. So I, th I think it was at home. You just don't remember when you got it? Like, it was just like around, like you didn't even click on it. You uh, just caught it. Um, I, I know I definitely like caught it myself, not a go plus, um, that you, you... like that. I just remember just being in one place though. Okay. So I, right. I, I'm pretty sure I was at home. Okay. Um, the only hundo I got was the hundo, uh, pincer Ooh. that I, uh, got from the, uh, research that we got from the bug out event. Um, and it was exciting, you know, because it's got a mega, but I did already catch one in the past <laughs> as a hundo, so it's it's not like a big deal. Fun um, fact, my um my first hundo pincer was a level one in my neighborhood. Oh my <laughs> That's gonna go all the way to, you know, the other side of the coin once the mega comes out. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I think I'll just power up whichever one's higher CP, obviously. Um but uh I did encounter one of the Galarian birds, mm -hmm. and it was the Galarian Articuno. I knew 
it was going to be one of the Galarian birds because when the daily incense thing was going on, I saw the glowing orb, meaning it was a Pokemon I had not encountered before. <laughs> and it was loading the Pokemon. I was like, oh, there's no shot. There's no shot. This isn't a Galarian bird. Oh, God. And uh, the Articuno spawns in. I throw a golden raspberry. I pull out the Ultra Ball. This sucker flies up in the air. I'm like, hey, you ain't getting away from me. I throw a curveball, hit it with the great throw, shakes once. That that little birdie went flying. It went out <laughs> into space. I was so furious for the oh, rest my of my God. walk, man. <laughs> I was like, you just shook once? You couldn't even give me a courtesy two shakes. And it was under like oh, 700 my. speed, right? So you had a low one. Uh, it was twelve hundred. Um, okay. so it was still under a uh, great league, which is all I care about. I I want a great league. Uh, all three really, but yeah. uh, from what I've been seeing, I think the Zapdos is the best one. Yeah, I might be. I I might be so wrong, but I haven't tried to look at it too much until I catch the one. That way, I'm not getting super hyped up if I get the best one for PvP. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, I, I was so mad at that. I, I'm, I was like getting ready to make all these memes, <laughs> just based off of this, uh, like little birdie running. I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna take a nap. Uh, but, um, I, I don't think they're gonna be impossible to find. Um, now that I've actually seen one, I, I know you're disheartened from not seeing one but like we've seen people get multiple of the birds in one incense so the odds can't be like super super bad for encountering them you say that but so I had hopefully the, when you say that but i had the damn thing since day one like even be day zero it, when the thing actually you're started gonna, and no, i know everybody had it you're gonna be the first person to see three in one i i'm sure there's already been somebody but you're gonna be the first person to catch all three <laughs> There's, uh, I think, I think uh, the cruise ship actually got three, uh, two Articunos oh and one Zapdos in the same instance in the same day. Jeez. And I'm like, how is he getting three? Well, I haven't got even seen one. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what kind of factors go into it. I mean, but there's, I, one, I, I think, think there is one factor. We're getting unlucky with the events. Yeah, there is one factor for sure, and th that is the uh, weather boosts. Um, yeah. most of them that have been able to encounter one has had weather boosted birds uh, either, even if the, if the weather boost only gives them like the 500 CP or lower than 1500 CP or even higher than 30, some 30, uh, 3000 CP or something like that mm -hmm. uh, just the ability to see one I think the weather booster actually does help I have never been able to actually get one during weather boost I either been getting rainy weather sunny weather or uh, it's only been at night just because I really don't want to walk in the sun for 15 minutes <laughs> I uh, think it was partly cloudy for me, mm. um, so the Articuno did not have weather boost, yeah. um, which I was actually happy about. I don't want a, a big boy. I yeah. want it to be easier to catch him. Well, <laughs> drowsy. Anyways, <laughs> um, but the thing, the thing, that's the thing. I mean, people are getting quite lucky, and some people are actually not. So there's three types of groups right now. Either the, uh, the ones that haven't seen anything, I'm part of that. The ones that have seen and haven't caught it, you're part of that. And one that Salty has actually boys. caught every single one of them, or every, or at least one of them, and brag about it. I actually see like two in our Discord that I know that they at least have it. Uh, and there's a, a hidden one, and that's actually getting the 100% of them. And that's actually just, uh, um, at that point, I, I, you just quit the game, brother. You just won the lottery right there. <laughs> uh, thank you there, Pinky. Uh, have a good night, too. Uh, but yeah, so... It's just it's just one of those things in the end of the day that but I have to say this feature, new feature, has actually gotten me to walk. And I I mean I, I used to walk before, but I wasn't like super consistent with it. I would do it maybe once, maybe three times a week when I would try to like uh, maybe lose some weight and everything. I log that emote. <laughs> um but then after that, sometimes I would just like not do the walks and be like, I'm too tired. I don't even want to get out of bed or something like that. I'm into implementing this 15 to 20 minute walk every single day of my life. Be not because I need to find one. I just because the chance of getting one is good. Now, 
I, I set a personal record, uh, I think that was, what, like a day or two ago, and I was actually able to get 27 spawns out of that thing, which is quite high for a lot of people. Now, dude, got, granted, I was using Ultra Balls the entire time, thanks to the new last feature on the game, uh, but the motivation on it, and yes, I with the guy, uh, the motivation on it, it has just been insane, like, total, like, I need to go out, I need to do this, this is how we should be incentivized to go out and play. This is how I see it. It's just, it's the greatest feature I have seen. Pokemon Go has come out. It doesn't take too long. It, it incentivizes you because you have the chance of encounter, even if you are in the don't, you can't catch the club or something. Um, but it's still, it's, 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 just, it's, just, it's just amazing. And I think I'm just going to keep on doing it because I, I feel like I'm actually you know, feel the, the need to actually go out and point. Now, if I mean, it's still, you know, hot, hot as hell summer over here. So there's definitely not going to happen at, you know, 12 o'clock in the, in the afternoon just because there is a chance to it. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing that during the nighttime or when it's raining cool out in the nighttime. Uh, but yeah, I, I just feel like even, even as a not able to get one yet club... <laughs> Um, I still feel like it's, it's the best of four worlds. Yeah, you, you're right with that, Mr. Guy. Any any other thoughts on that, Chris? Uh, even without the Galarian birds, I still think um, it would still be a loaded incense. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, it's 15 minutes versus, you know, the 30 minutes. Uh, but, you know, for some people, that's even better because you don't have to focus on the game as long. Yeah. Um, like it doesn't feel like you're getting uh, cheated out of some spawns mm -hmm. because you only got to focus for half the amount of time. Yeah. Um, but with the Galarian Birds chance, you're you're running to get all the spawns basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I gotta keep moving. I gotta get these birds, please. I mean, um, I, I feel a little more motivated and I feel a little mm -hmm. more healthy just doing this 20, 15, 20 minute walk because just because it feels yeah. a little more refreshing. And once I come home, you know, I either i post on twitter definitely i'd be like i'm angry as hell because i couldn't find one <laughs> um <laughs> but at the same time i just you know i take a shower relax i should feel refreshed after that walk you know it's it's it's, it's just nice it's nice thank you niantic for that you actually implemented something that we want to do and want to use in that point so uh kudos to that i guess <laughs> um but yeah that's basically all we have to really say about these damn birds um just because of course they're damn birds. They're they're gonna run away on you uh, if you're if you're not lucky enough. Um, maybe you know we'll still revisit it. I mean, every day we're still gonna see if we get anything cool out of it. Um, mm. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So as for me, as shinies and hondos, I almost forgot about those. <laughs> um, as for shinies, I actually believe I got three shinies since that we talked. Funny mm. enough, and actually this is a. <laughs> It's a hilarious uh, thing that just happened. Anyways, um, that's weird. I actually hatched that afterwards or before that. What the heck? I don't know. The tag on it is kind of weird. Oh, no. It's because I hatched it on the floor. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, so my first shiny of the week, it was literally the walk to actually encounter a GP, a GP bird. And um, I just hatched this uh, shiny rufflet because it's just, you know, hey. I just wanted to shine. Um, it you was got one. a bird. I know, right? I got something. <laughs> uh, I got another Palkia through just regular, um, you know, raids. I did, however, get enough extra large candy for it. So uh, I'm ready for it, just in case. I'm not power one yet. I have the Hondo, but I'm not power one yet just because I, you know, there's a few things that I'm going through anyways. Origin form soon. Uh, I know, well, right? Not not that soon, but... <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and then... <laughs> Uh, I know we're going to be talking about the bug of event, which we did discuss last time, uh, but we're, of course, going to be giving our thoughts so far of the event. And I've been doing some Mega Scissors raids, and somebody from my the GoFest experience sent me one, and it was a shiny. So I was like, cool, I got a shiny one. Um, I was this close, my friend. This close of getting the Shando. I'm like, it's a 98 shiny, and I'm so sad. <laughs> I am so sad. 98 shiny. It is 15 attack, so I'm actually happy about it. I mean, uh, if just because I know that a lot of people haven't seen the Mega at this point, or the shiny Mega at the point. I'm just going to Mega Ball before you guys right now. Uh, anybody who's, Give of course, Give this man a bottle cap. <laughs> I know, right? 
But the shiny is amazing. And I'm probably going to be working on this as the shiny that I want to actually keep for Scissor, of course. Um, until I get the Hundo, then the Hundo will be the priority. Uh, but still, it's a, it's a pretty good shiny. It's a pretty cool Mega. It's actually one of the best Steel-type Megas before Mega Steel comes out. Or even Locari comes out. Um, or Mega Steel, like, sorry. Mega uh, Metagross. <laughs> And um, yeah, Meta Megagross is gonna be a steel type that's gonna definitely you know change the meta. Um, but so far, this will be in, in one of the stops mega steel types out there. So get what what you can. I'm happy to at least get that 88 for now. I'll be doing more in the near future or until it runs out. <laughs> and then as for Hondos, there is uh, I think one Hondo unless I remember correctly. Yes, I did hash this right after, well, a couple of days after the podcast, and this is actually a weird animation anyways. Uh, but I actually got a Honda Ruffler, too. And that means I, I evolved it to a Honda Braviary. And funny enough, you know, I did get the other form. <laughs> uh, the Hisu- yeah. The Hisuian form first, and then I get the, uh, the regular form Hondo. So I'm like, okay, I see you. I see you. I'm telling you, man, Rowlet loves you. I don't know why. That thing would avoid me for the longest time. Although, I, I, as far as I know, I've been hatching so many of those things out of the 10k pool. <laughs> and it's just been insane. Um, but yeah, that's my hole. I'm happy about that. I don't think I got too many PvP months. Uh, I may have started or something. I just never actually check unless I, I go back. And my mass transfers have been uh, quite useful. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. So that's my hole. Now let's talk about some bugs and more bugs and the bug out. Oh, <laughs> uh, so the bug event Great just started. Bugs. Yes, the bug event just started yesterday, um, and surprisingly, it's actually pretty good. Um, it has uh, more potential than I thought I see. I saw it, and I I want to say, I mean, now first, Chris, give me your thoughts. Uh, I think the spawns are great. Um, there's some Pokemon I wish spawned a little bit more. Mm. Um, some of them are locked behind of uh, research. Uh, research, yeah. Like uh, some of them, I kind of even forgot were bugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like uh, I saw Venonat from a, a research, and I was like, oh yeah, haven't seen you. <laughs> but um, I understand it would be a little bit uh, overwhelming to have, you know. 30 different Pokemon to hunt in the wild uh, trying to find the shinies for. Yeah. So I understand why they do it like this. Um, it is a bit uh, overwhelming in my opinion though, uh, that they're starting to do more research where there's like three different research where you get like nine different Pokemon from each research. Mm. Um, that That's a bit overwhelming to me. But yeah. uh, you know, the different shinies you can hunt are great. Uh, the spawns are fantastic. I love the event spawns. Um, overall, I, I definitely think it's a great event. I'd give it at least an 8. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I'm definitely thinking of giving that much. I, uh, and then, of course, there is the Ultra Unlock that happened to actually add more to the event. And we'll go about it in just a moment, of course. Uh, <laughs> I with the guys like, too many similar funds. If I see one more, we're well. I mean, that's how it is. <laughs> you gotta catch him pure i know right he's looking at um me. there is uh, one thing that if you're not taking advantage of it uh you should now we'll go over right now the final uh, the final ultra unlock uh just because it is correspondence to the event that we're going on right now uh and that is of course that the there's some extra bonuses now previously we were gonna get things like you know two times experience from successfully catching pokemons like in the nice throw, great throw and excellent throw but now you're going to be getting extra candy for actually doing those types of throws, um, which is super nice. And anybody, of wild. course, anybody who can get extra large candies can also have an increased chance of getting extra large candy for that, for the ability. Uh, for, of course, those throws specifically. Now, one thing that I've been doing, and that's because I have too many of them, is uh, evolving my max level, level 3 Mega Beedrill, every day. And just catching whatever I can find. Because every spawn right now, or at least 99% of the spawns, are bug types. So getting the extra large candy while you have the Mega 
and the bonuses. You can tell that I'm actually like grinding out this event more than usual <laughs> for that reason. Uh, I don't have an, a whole abundance, and most of the time I'm spending enough work, of course. So the next few days are going to be definitely grinders in that regard. Uh, part also of the Ultra Unlock will be the Unknown T spawning in raids. And if you are lucky, which some of them are, uh, you can get the Shiny. <laughs> um, but I actually got my uh, Shiny Unknown T in GoFed, so I'm actually upset and I don't really need to get any more uh, of those unless Chris wants to. <laughs> Um, I I don't care about getting every single shiny unknown. That's good. Unless it's like not out of my way. You know <laughs> what I mean? Right, right. Uh, there's also, of course, Pansage appearing globally, uh, which was a... Uh, yeah, T-Post in the competition. <laughs> it, um, it was a uh, shiny release in Golf Sapporo, which we'll talk about in a moment. And then there also is a time research that will allow us to complete task to earn items, Pokemon encounters, and uh, Scyther Mega Energy uh, mega energy at the time, So, which was only 50, so it's not that much, but you're still getting a lot. Um, and yeah, I, I say so far, use, having the uh, Ultra Unlock just helps us out. There is also uh, something that I completely forgot about, uh, and let me go back to it. There is also uh, an Ultra Unlock for the Galarian Sixagoon event that a lot of people don't know about and don't think that they know about but I the, forgot about it right <laughs> um, but the ultra unlock event for that will actually add on top of the other bonuses that we already have for 6 again uh, during the community day from 11 to 7 we'll have 2 times experience for catching Pokemon 2 additional special trades made during the event this bonus does stack with the additional special trade bonus for the GoFest event for a maximum of Four special trays of the day. That's actually quite insane. Four special trays in a day, that means that you got to get all your lucky friends around it up, brother. Every single yeah. one of them. <laughs> At least That's four of them. That's what I was thinking, man. Um, you also get two times candy from transferring Pokemons, and trays do made during the event requires 75% less Stardust um, than before. So basically, if a tray was just 100, I think it's got to be like 15 or 25 so, um, and unless you're actually trading like shinies or something, you basically only have to spend, I don't know, 10, 10k Stardust on the trade. If you're trading like a shiny with best friend, lucky friends or something like that. So that's actually quite powerful. Now, a lot of people are talking about yeah. it, but this is, this is the event. This is the six second event that you do want to play if you want to grind out as much as possible. Remember, you still get three times cash stardust, two times candy for catching Pokemons, uh, two times candy for extra candy for catching Pokemons. Uh, we already talked about the special train, the incest and lures, and you know everything else like that. So, just getting that extra special part, it has been. This is basically one of the best community days of the year, hands down. Just on the bonuses alone. So. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not always, it's not always about the shiny. It's not even always though it's a good shiny. Yeah, the the bonuses make the calm day. Oh for yeah, sure. So and again, you'll it, the most of the time it will be three hours uh, just to get most of the bonuses, but the extra bonuses are actually implemented through the entire eight hours of the community day while you're still playing, you know, outside and going. So there's a lot. There's a lot that you can take advantage of if you know how to grind this event specifically. So play it. Chris, take the day off. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could. I will be out early on okay. uh, Saturday, though. Okay. Is I... it on? It, it's on Saturday, right? Yes, it is on Saturday. Please. Yes, it is on Saturday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got the day off for that. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, what time you take the day off? Okay. Uh, probably about three thirty. Okay, so the main so event like... coming today is over, but you'll be able to do the raids if you want to. But you can still take advantage yeah. of the bonuses if that's the case. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll definitely be trying to do my lucky trades. I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to message a couple of people uh, just to see what we can do for to, for that day specifically. I'm still grinding out on you know, the first three hours, but I'm probably going to go move over to where most of my lucky friends are anyways to go do about that. Uh, but yeah, that's the Ultra Unlock. So far, I think it's actually great what they added. And... It is the final Ultra Unlock of the year, so 
we're finally here. It's been a summer. It's definitely been a summer of a lot of different things. Now, give or take, this summer, I know that we've still got a couple of weeks uh, you know, to go before the season of Go final end, ends, and we still have you know, a bit of news to cover uh, between then and now, or now and then, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and what do you think so far? I mean, have you felt that this whole month of GoFest and events and Ultra Unlocks have really piqued your summer niche, I guess? Uh, I definitely feel like it's been very loaded. Mm. Um, like, it's not, it's not like day and night like it is uh, for the events around Halloween. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, Halloween is just a huge event for Pokemon Go. Christmas is a huge event for Pokemon Go. And then it feels like the ones, you know, before and after, they're just kind of there. Uh, it feels like it's been a nice train ride of events. Um, so it, it's been uh, very nice. Uh, and the different things they're adding, you know, uh, the daily incense and everything uh, are just keeping us motivated, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, you know, they keep playing. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's been... Uh, I don't think it's been lazy. I don't. I don't think it's been tiring or boring. <laughs> uh, for me, at least, it's been very fun. I, I'm very happy with what they've been doing. Yeah, I mean, I think that even though some events have been kind of mediocre in the Ultra Unlock, we thought that you know they could bring us a little bit more than we think. Um, since eventually this Ultra Unlock has just been unknowns and shiny pants ages or monkeys, I guess. <laughs> Um, there have been some things that I actually made the experience amazing. Um, you know, GoFest itself has, was amazing, and the in-person GoFest can never go wrong when you do that. Um, so it's still pretty good in the end of the day. But yeah, that, that we'll see. We'll give it a more thoughts, and I want to see maybe we'll give it a little more in-depth finale to the whole GoFest in the coming days. Um, or not even GoFest, but the finale itself uh, when it comes down to it. So... With that being said, we also had Sapporo that happened, and thanks to the guys in Sapporo, uh, they help us unlock all the Ultra Unlocks, the final Ultra Unlocks. I know that a lot of people, unfortunately, I think unfor Sapporo was basically Japan, just on itself. So if you were in, in Japan at the time for Sapporo, congratulations. You basically could do something that a lot of people couldn't. Uh, but trainers got over 16 million 700 thousand pokemons uh they collectively walk over 678 thousand kilometers um you know and just it was amazing for the final golfers in person golfers of course uh it's japan one of these days we'll get there you know uh but thank you for the trainers out there and hello to paper cut on the chat there uh, then we got a we got a event details for the final two events of the year, or I'm sorry, not <laughs> the year, <laughs> the summer, I guess. Um, but yeah, how, what 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 we got next? What's the next in our list? Oh oh oh, the uh, Go Fest finale event. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, I I've been hearing a lot about this. So I'm I'm pretty <laughs> excited. So the, especially since I didn't get to go. All right, uh, you only got one ultra beast, basically. Anyways, uh, <laughs> the GoFest finale it's happening on August twenty seventh from ten a.m. to six p.m. local time. So make sure you make your plans for that day, Chris. You're calling the day off, no matter what. <laughs> oh my! Um, but then, of course, what's gonna happen? So first and foremost, if you bought a ticket for the global GoFest, you actually don't have to buy any more tickets or anything for this uh, finale that we have, which they stated since the beginning. Uh, but if yeah. you haven't actually bought the global tickets, you are still able to buy this finale ticket for ten ninety nine US currency. So, um, or you can gift it for somebody for four ninety nine each, up to three trainers in the moment. So, if you want to gift this to somebody, when somebody wants to play the finale, it's up to you guys. But you know. However, the experiences are going to, of course, once again, be divided between free and pay, um, or ticketed experience, I guess. But here is the event details. So, of course, it starts on the 27. The free experience will have a short special uh, research story, uh, a snapshot for a surprise during the, uh, during the event. 
for the first time in Pokemon Go, you will be able to encounter Shiny Muna, if you're lucky. Uh, several special avatar items debut in the sale in the shop. There is going to be a uh, Night Hello hat, a shirt Add inspired memories. by Boswell, <laughs> and an outfit inspired by the Go Ultra uh, Recon Squad. Uh, any thoughts on these uh, interesting additions? Yeah, that uh, that hat makes me think about uh, Lily's mom. No oh, God, uh, Lusamine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, combine that with a boss wall, and <laughs> you'll get you'll get. <laughs> Dude, we'll be the ultimate ultra beast <laughs> person. It's it's gonna be fantastic. Oh, oh God, yeah. I already know. I already know. I'm gonna see Speediest Chief in that buzz wall. Oh yeah, that, he was he was rocking that cliff outfit. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, also, the free experience one will have stickers in the shop, so make sure if you want to, or you can spin them, uh, and you'll get some stuff. Uh, it also says plus uh, thanks to all the world trainers around the world will uh, will have put in during the golfers events in Berlin. Uh, Berlin, Seattle, Sapporo, Re has been producing more Beast Balls during this event. All Ultra Beast raid encounters will feature Beast Balls. Now you may be wondering, what do you mean by all raid encounters? Well, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> um, so the habitats. So it's actually going to be unique habitats for each Ultra Beast that we have encountered in the last few uh, weeks and months of GoFest. Uh, we're going to start with the Feromosa habitat starting at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. local time and feature things like Pikachu wearing a shaming expired uh, scarf, which actually is kind of cool. Kind of like it. Uh, mm-hmm. Scyther, Pinsir, uh, Sudowoodo, Him on Top, Meditai, Ararat, uh, Krikotot, Wubat, and Kyroblast. Uh, fun fact, every single one of them can be shiny. <laughs> then we'll move Thank over you. from 12 to 2 uh, NPM local time. We have the Pikachu again, Machop, Yudu, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Magmar, Normal, Kratidos, Dribble, and Axew. Uh, just one Pokemon cannot be shiny out of that, but everything else can be shiny. Then we have the Secretary Habitat, and it's going to be from 2 to 4. And again, Pikachu, Bus, uh, Electabuzz, Buzzwall, I almost said Buzzwall there, <laughs> Electabuzz, Electric, Electri, Shinx, Lilipep, Burmy, Sandy, Combi, uh, Fungus, Joltik, Shelmet, and Stunfisk. Well, just regular Stunfisk, not Galarian, which they fixed. Uh, again, two out of the whole thing can be shiny, cannot be shiny. Then we have the Night Hello hours. From four to six, the final ones, and we're encountering things like Bulbasaur, the Pikachu, Clefairy, Tentacool, Chansey, Tangela, Ammonite, Chikorita, Turtwig, Burmiplan, uh, Muna, which is a brand new shiny included, Frillish, Swirlix, which is a new shiny that was released in Sapporo, and Scarlet, which again, only two of them can not be shiny in this pool. So this Thank is. Thank goodness I should be out for that time period. <laughs> Good. You're still calling off. <laughs> oh my um but yeah i just need one of each <laughs> i know right uh but yeah so that's the wild spawns during those hours which again you can encounter anywhere you are in the world we have in raids what well, we have from 10 to 6 well so one star race will encounter the pikachu axio and rock rough if you're still looking for the shiny three stars will have snorlax salamence Dr- uh dragon drag tricks torture cat and rhinon i don't know what's the point of actually getting second stage evolutions in there but um, okay the only thing I can justify is ultra, uh, sorry, uh, the extra large candy, uh, especially Brion and, for uh, Master League. And Snorlax, and I don't then think it's going to have the hat either, so. Nah, nah. Uh, Dark Tricks might be fun just for the uh, the different form of it yeah. from uh, Legends Arceus. Yeah, definitely. Um, but other than that, yeah, no. I, I personally <laughs> wouldn't want to rate them, yeah. but yeah, if you're a Master League uh monster maybe you'd want brion but nah i <laughs> i don't care about it much right. without the shiny right well as you probably already noticed by now we're gonna have five star rates which each one of the ultra beasts that we have encountered in each one of the golfers so far so from 10 to 2 we have Feromosa. from 12 to 2 we have bus wall from 2 to 4 we have secretary and then at the last two hours we'll actually gonna encounter four the all four Ultra Beasts, even Night Hello. So oh. even though they only they, they call it Ultra uh, Ultra Incursion Night Hello, 
you're gonna have each one of them actually appear in the last uh, two hours so and i wonder if nihelijo will spawn more than the other ones since it's technically its time period probably um i feel bad for the people that didn't catch it though if they're gonna be you know fairly random yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad, and you, I mean, learning the Gold Fest uh, Global, it wasn't that, I mean, people did it and got it, and that's pretty much it, unless you didn't play those hours. Yeah, I mean, they give you one for free, too. Yeah. Uh, from the special research. Yeah, so, so it's not too bad, bad, but I'm definitely, you know, I still need to get the other two decks entry, so I'm definitely going to at least do one of each. Uh, Boswell, it's interesting, but unfortunately, you cannot get it under 1500. You can only get that in Gold Fest, uh, Seattle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah so that's the so far all the information that the event is going to have well what the experience with the ticketed experience well if you have a ticket or you buy a ticket uh, for the first time in Pokemon Gold you're going to counter shiny unknown N and shiny unknown X if you're lucky this is cool X marks the spot <laughs> uh, spin photos this to gyms to earn up to 9 free daily ray passes uh, they can be used for in-person only, of course. Take up up to five snapshots during the event for a surprise. Earn an extra 5,000 experience in raids when you win an in-person raid. In instance activated during this hours will last for two hours. Earn three Ooh. times experience for spinning photos this at Pokestops and gyms. So that's actually pretty cool if you have a lucky egg. Um, half has distance when eggs are placed in incubator during the event hours. And then starting at 10 a.m. local time trainers will have who has had either a sky form shaman uh, will be able to change it from to form to land form shaman and vice versa so i think you don't have a sky form shaman do you chris um no so no, i don't have the sky form so i'm curious if you're gonna be able to do the land form too uh yeah mm. I, i'm curious about that i don't know if that's what they mean. Though. That's what Maybe I'm thinking too, but to. we'll see. We'll see. Um, I mean, if they give us one more encounter with Shaman, that'd be nice. Just because, again, uh, we won't, I only have two. You only have one. So that would be kind of nice if you can actually change the forms anyways. Um, yeah. But yeah. Then we also have a special research. Hmm. In addition to the short special research story available to all trainers, the ticket holders will have to, will receive three short exclusive special research stories. Complete them to earn in-game items and encounter with Skyform Shaman, an exclusive avatar with uh, items like Skyform Shaman shirt, a helmet without a visor inspired by the Go Ultra uh, Recon Squad. So you are able to encounter a Skyform Shaman uh, as long as you have a ticketed event and of course or a ticketed event experience. And um, and of course you do the special research for that. So, Chris, you're still gonna be able to encounter one. That will be getting me my third one. Hopefully, a better one. <laughs> Undo, please. Um, we'll fight uh, Giratina. Right. So and there's also the encroaches again happening at 10 a.m. All trainers with those without or even with those without the tickets will grant access to the short special story during 12. Starting at 12, uh, trainers with the tickets. Who has completed the first special research story will be granted the first ticketed exclusive special research story, uh, and then from and then two and four you'll also be advancing those stories. So basically, it's kind of like a collapsing special research. You have to finish one to be able to do the other one. Uh, so make sure you are able to. So at two and four o'clock, of course, whoever has the tickets will be able to do the rest of the special special research stories. Uh, so long as you claim the first special uh, research story during the event, you'll be able to complete it and any remaining special research stories whenever you want to i'm curious if it's gonna be like uh where we got the nihel joe from uh the special research before where you're gonna be able to get like one of each of the ultra beasts for free hopefully hmm. uh because i'm a little bit stressed out about uh needing to catch each of them for the pokedex right uh but, but uh, yeah. i mean only time will tell right yeah definitely um we'll see when it comes down to it now of course ticket experience will also encounter pokemon in your incense so if you actually you know want to run around for the next few hours you have a special spawns on the incense so you'll have things encountering like galerian mr mine pan sage and then unknown b g n o p s and x 
S and X uh, on the first two hours. Then on the next one, from 12 to 2, we'll have encounters with uh, unknown B, G, or, yeah, B, G, N, O, P, S, X, Torkoal, and, Pan and Panseer. From 2 to 4, again, all of those that I already mentioned, because I'm not going to say them again, Clink and Pampor. And then the last two hours of the event, you have things that encounters with uh, Tropius and Frillish, and of course, all the other unknowns. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking Tropius can already be shiny. That'd be nice, I, right? I, I keep thinking it. Yeah. He Definitely. needs to be soon. I know. Well, maybe in the... Uh, because we're going to be in uh, Gold Tour next year anyway, so that's going to have his shiny chance if possible. Ooh. And then they will just tell you how to actually uh, purchase a ticket, which you can find at the shop now. So, yeah, that's the... <laughs> all the... Damn news on that finale. Holy crap. It's basically another Gold Fest Day event uh, in your hometown. What do you think so far, Chris, while I check on this and know that somebody invited me to? Uh, I think it's great. Um, it's fantastic that we'll all be able to get the uh, Ultra Beast without having to travel, uh, you know, not just across the country, but across the you know globe to places like Sapporo and everything, uh, you know, to fill up your Pokédex. Um, so I'm super, super excited to try and get those on the squad. Um, I think the Pikachu is cute. Uh, I know a lot of people don't care about the different costumes. I, I personally don't have a problem with it as long as it's not, you know, just changing a new hat every single time. Right. <laughs> uh, I mean, that Mimikyu was awesome. The mm -hmm. Mimikyu Pikachu. Um, the spawns are great. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a great event. Yeah. I think that just wrapping up the GoFest... Uh, and everything has been good so far, so I'm actually kind of glad <laughs> that this finale will give us a final hooray to the whole summer that we had with GoFest. Plus, we'll finally be able to know what the hell happened to Professor Willow. Because, yeah, you know, he's, been yeah gone. he's in there. He's been gone for, like, how many months now? <laughs> how hungry. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, um, I've been that way for oh. so long. <laughs> Dude, what if he got loose? I mean... <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> that that will be hilarious actually if it happens but that, there's no shot there's oh no my shot. gosh i hope so anyways uh but yeah hopefully you are able to play that event uh if you're not good luck anyways um but yeah that is the finale but what is the next and final event of the season ago here chris hmm. oh shoot man i just saw this news uh because it literally came out today uh, celebrate the 2022 Pokemon World Championships in Pokemon Go. And speaking of special Pikachu's, oh my gosh! Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that 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 I forgot about that. Um, you want to go ahead and just read through the news there for you? Since uh, this is your yeah. Report. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon Go is headed to the 2022 Pokemon World Championships. Super excited about that. Uh, you know, I'm. Very, very happy to see Pokemon Go getting some, uh, you know, uh, competitive uh, <laughs> sites on yes. it. Yes. Uh, you know, we're going to be getting a world champion soon uh, since the world championships are going to be taking place from August 18th to the 21st in London, England at the, uh, you know, EX. E L London Convention Center. Just call it. Uh, if you it. guys were, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that. I, I don't know the the capitalization of C and L messed me up. X. Uh, but, uh, That's all you gotta the, say. Then. <laughs> <laughs> the the top qualifying Pokemon Go players from around the globe will compete to determine who will be crowned the 2022 Pokemon Go World Champion. I'm really hoping for King. But, uh, you know, if his girl won, I, <laughs> that Bro, would also be I, I, I'm betting $100 right now that Ken is going to win it all. I would not be surprised. <laughs> but I'm not going to be betting money. <laughs> Bro, I'll, oh, I'll bet you a shiny. How about that? Oh, man. Yeah, bet me that, that cowboy hat. Uh, I kind of figured ones. you were going to say that. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Among uh, You're like, okay, now I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> Among oh, other man. prizes, the Pokemon Girl World Champion will receive an in-game World Champion 2022 outfit and pose. 
Oh, really? Um, yeah, the I champion thought... himself will only be able to get this. Only yeah, the champion. Yeah, I thought there was going to be uh, more people to get it, but it does make sense since I have seen the trophy, and that is the trophy they're holding mm-hmm. uh, for the pose. Bro, can um, you imagine? So that definitely makes a lot of sense. Bro, this is going to be like the pose that nobody else is going to be able to have. Nobody else. Like, I don't know if you remember when people were selling Pokemon Go accounts, <laughs> like, in the past. Like, before Shinies were even a thing. Mm-hmm. They were selling, like, Dragonite, like, and, uh, and and stuff like that. They're like, I have a level 40 Dragonite. Uh, give me $10,000. If you have this as your pose, I, I can only imagine, like, what kind of value people would put on that. Because yeah. that's insane. Mm. Only having one. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it, I'm definitely don't think that whoever's gonna win the world is gonna actually no. get to that point. Um, no, but still, this is no. the no. rarest. You'd have outfit. to restart. Yeah, it's it's insane. Now, of course, I believe uh, they usually give him a code, or whoever actually wins, they give him a code to actually redeem it in game, and they'll be able to get the post itself, of course, um, and whatever outfit they'll get there too. But um, most likely. It could be that whoever wins it, if it's like you know an influencer like King, the possibility that you know some they'll do he'll do a huge giveaway or something like that if it happens, because I know he doesn't care about the kind of post and everything. Uh, but having this, he itself, might make an exception, yeah. man. That's true. That's if still. If you have the only one, oh man. Anyways, well we <laughs> we haven't even got into the good part, so let's go ahead and move on. All right. So. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm just getting excited for the champion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you want to tune in, the English stream is going to be on the Pokemon Go Twitch channel, mm-hmm. uh, starting at 8 a.m. UTC each day between August 18th and 21st. And then the Japanese stream is to be announced. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the celebratory avatar items, uh, two new in-game items will be available uh, to commemorate it. Uh, the 2022 World's T. Is going to be av- uh, available globally via a code shared during the World Championship stream. The code will also be distributed on the official Pokemon Go social media channel shortly after. The code will be valid through August 22nd, 2022. Uh, I recommend putting it in as soon as you see it, mm-hmm. uh, so you do not forget. Oh yeah, definitely. We'll uh, remind everybody in social media if they follow us anyways. Yeah, definitely retweeting the the bazonkers out of it mm-hmm. uh 2022 world uh participant tea will be available f- from the pokestop located at the pokemon go booth in the world championships venue in london uh during the event um i will say the t-shirt for the pokemon girl world championships venue exclusive is in my opinion not as cool as the global distribution i kind of agree looking at it but that's because i like but, uh, a little bit better <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if it's it's the color more than anything because uh, the blue is just so soothing and it's got more going on. I actually kind of uh, wish I yeah, could get that it, t-shirt in real life too, you know? Maybe maybe they will be selling it. Yeah, probably. um, I wouldn't be that surprised. True. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're there, definitely get the t-shirt. Um, that way you at least have it. Technically, um, it's still only and, uh, a little bit exclusive to the ones out there. So it, exactly. there's still some exclusivity to it unless you're there yourself. So, um, yeah, still pretty cool. Um, there's also going to be a world championship celebration in Pokemon Go. So even if you're not there, we can all celebrate uh, from Thursday, August 18th at 10 a.m. to Tuesday, August 23rd at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, local time, Pokemon Go is celebrating the the 2022 Pokemon World Championships <laughs> in all things Go Battle League. Uh, Pokemon debut. Uh, there's going to be the World Championships 2022 Pikachu. <laughs> it's going to be making its uh, debut in raids, field research, and timed research. Mm-hmm. So if you like costume Pikachu, it's a pretty unique one. Uh, I really don't know how its ear is fitting in the hat. <laughs> it, it's got a a pretty decent costume. I, I don't think it's horrible. Yeah. Um. So, you know, it does have a shiny chance, too. So definitely be getting your clicks in. Yes. Uh, the event bonuses. Challengers with Pokemon teams inspired by the ones used by trainers who won 
the Pokemon Go Regional uh, Championships will appear at Pokestops. Oh my! Oh god! Uh, we get to fight King. Is that what I'm hearing? Oh my god! Uh, three times. <laughs> Three times Stardust from Go Battle League win rewards. The only time I'll be able to say I beat King. <laughs> uh, the ma- the maximum number of Go Battle League sets uh, you can play per day will be increased from five to ten for a total of fifty battles per day. Jeez, so uh, if you're trying to reach a higher rank, this is going to be your time. Uh, time to research. Time to research will be available during the event. Complete the tasks to receive rewards, which include the following. The World Championships Pikachu. You don't even have to leave your uh, comfort home, uh, even though there might be some spawning there. Uh, as long as you get the time to research and complete it, you'll be good to go. Uh, you'll get an Elite Fast TM and an Elite Charge TM. Whichever one you need, you get both. Well, uh, I want to so do know this is those. actually the most freest way of getting both an Elite Charge TM and an Elite, Fi- an elite Charge TM. This is the... Aside from Go remember. Battle League, yeah, but uh, I mean, Go Battle League, you have to grind. This is the best way to get one if you have not got one already because it's not that easy to get and they're usually gated either by Go Battle League or money anyways. Yeah, it, it shouldn't take that much time to, to grind it out. Right. Um, wild Encounters. Uh, the following Pokemon will appear more frequently in the wild. It looks like a lot of very uh, prominent PvP Pokemon. Uh, Nidoran Female. Uh, Mankey, Machop, Mudkip, Sableye, Meditite, Swablu, Veal, Krogunk, Dewpider. And if you're lucky, you might encounter the following. Scraggy, Galarian Stunfisk. Uh, Scraggy's pretty wild to me. Yeah. Uh, since, you know, I can't even remember if we've ever had it in the wild. I don't think we have. I think there was another something similar battle, Go Battle League Day like this that oh. you're actually able to encounter, if I remember correctly. There were, yeah, was that it, from uh, the PvP, though? Yeah, was that... it, it was either a PvP or some kind of like battle day or something, or not even a battle, but like a battle week or something, or a fight week or something like that. They announced like all the fighting type Pokemon will appear, and then Scraggy was one mm-hmm. of the spawns in there. Of course, it wasn't shiny, so or still not shiny. Uh, yeah, I think I just got unlucky with the spawns from that. Yeah, as far as I know, like, Scraggy, I barely got Scraggy. I just, I mean, I haven't been getting, like, the best, best ones either. But, I mean, I got, I even have uh, 1, 13, 14 right now. So, and it's a like Scraggy for Grey League. So, a Scraggy yeah, for Grey League. Yeah, so he's I, a monster. And I caught it in the wild, in my house. Almost two, almost a year ago, over a, two, a year ago for sure. So, <laughs> definitely something, definitely something. Yeah, a, a lot of these Pokemon you're gonna want uh, extra large candy for. Uh, a lot of them have shiny chances, so oh, even yeah. if you're not a PvP person, uh, you got the shinies to hunt for. Uh, for raids, uh, we got the Pikachu again in the costume. Uh, Galarian Farfetch, that's one I'm actually pretty excited for. Mm-hmm. Uh, Meryl. Barboach, Timber in Scraggy again. Uh, we got Primeape in three star, Lickitung, and Skarmory. A lot of people are going to be raiding Skarmory for that extra large candy. And, uh, people will uh, be getting raiding Lickitung too. Yeah. Uh, the five star raids, we get Zacian and Zamazenta back. Uh, so if you do not have a good one, uh, this is your time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mega Raids. Mega Slowbro is back and he's balancing on his tail. Uh, he's the only one that seems a bit out of place to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I was about but, uh, to say that too. Is like, you know, yeah. this would have been an amazing chance to actually get another mega, new mega, like maybe the Mega Lucario or something like that. Um, but again, they they love to not throw it when megas when they don't want to. I, I think they wanted to meme on us a little bit, but uh, you know, he's there if you need him. Yeah, uh, I might raid one or two. Uh, field research task encounters. Uh, you can encounter the following Pokemon when you uh, complete field research tasks. Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Ghastly, Rhyhorn, Magikarp, Chikorita, Mudkip, Galarian Zigzagoon, Beldum, Galarian Stunfisk, and Fletchling. Uh, if you don't have enough uh, Galarian Zigzagoon <laughs> after the Calm Day, 
uh, you might be able to get a Hondo or Shundo after that. Uh, so that yeah, so is something still not bad. Yeah, keep in check. I mean, yeah, again, all, all these Pokemon except for Pikachu are PvP eligible, so you're gonna want to actually try to get a few of them if you can. Yeah, um, there is going to be a lot of featured uh, attacks that were uh, calm days before too. Mm -hmm. uh, Rhyperior is going to have Rock Wrecker. Uh, Gengar is going to have Shadow Punch. Gyarados is going to have Aqua Tail. Uh, Metagross will have Meteor Mash. Which that is, is one you're definitely yeah, going to want to I was about to say that this is actually <laughs> something that you have not gotten since I don't know how long. Since, since it's, it's, community, it's been uh, years. Yeah. Because yeah, Metagross uh, is a powerful one for sure. Yeah, they, they, um, they did it for the calm day recap of like a year or two ago, I feel like, but mm -hmm. I don't know if we had it the most recent December. Right. Um, Talon flame will have incinerate too. So if you don't have one of those uh, for ultra league or great league, uh, you can grab one of those, but Metagross is almost a must have, yeah. uh, if not a must have for uh, raids. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that should be any time during the event. Um, if you don't have enough candy, to evolve one, play it like, play like it to, if you play only safe. have enough to evolve only one, be very careful <laughs> to evolve it during the event. Don't don't rush it. Let me put it that way. True. Just want to make sure that I keep eye on a few things here. I think I have this one right here. I've been saving for a long time, which is a shadow uh, shiny great leak to Metagross, I believe. Uh, Yo. so that that's one definitely I can I, I have to check the IBs again or the ranking on that one um, but it, even having a shadow just like that is amazing uh, I'm probably gonna evolve one of my other shiny shadows because it is I have one that's 15 attack and you know just by having it that shadow and shiny is amazing uh, being yeah. that mega, mega or not a mega but it's just shadow metagross is just insane no matter what I do have another hondo but I already kind of already have my hondo the good thing about this is that if they're going to be in, in research, I'm going to try to complete my Excel candy grind for that, if I can. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the Metagross there. I don't know why I even kept that one. <laughs> but anyway, continue. Um, I thought that was pretty much it for that event. Uh, feature rabbit and items. So to celebrate the 2022 Pokemon World Championship... Ooh. Galar team, Ooh. the following Galar team avatar items will be available in the in-game shop. You can get the Dragon Type Sports uh, Top, Dragon Type Sports Shorts, the Dark Type Sports Shorts, and the Dark and the uh, Dark Type Sports Shorts. So uh, it's still pretty good. I mean, you probably have to buy them, but you know they they are quite good in some regards, anyways. Yeah, we could dress up as Marnie. Yeah, uh, I I'm still waiting to get my. Uh... My, uh, is it Drake, the cape he has? I think so. Yeah, I don't remember right now. Oh, man, I'm, I'm hoping his name's Drake or I'm going to get flamed. So I was actually just checking the abyss on that Shadow Metagross, and it is a rank 2 Metag Shadow Metagross for Great League. So I'm getting that community they move stall into it soon, and it's a shiny one too. So I'm going to be using that in Great League a couple of times. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> uh, with that being said, of course, that is the World Championships event. I hope that you guys are excited as we are to see Pokemon Go in the World Championships for the very first time. Uh, we're going to definitely name a champion, a world champion uh, in this coming day. So be prepared to go about it and think all about it. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> um and let's think about that we're going to actually name the very first world champion. It's been years. I mean, six years. And we're finally going to be getting to this point. And I'm actually glad about it. Aren't you, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of people think Pokemon Go is just tappy tappy. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes a lot of thought, a lot of grinding, and a lot, a lot of, skill. of luck. A lot of skill, too. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I, I, I didn't want to come across that... Uh, it didn't take skill. Um, mm. a, a lot of people think it's just rock, paper, scissors a lot. And uh, there are a lot of possibilities to get out of the impossible, hey, which is crazy. You just got to know what to do. That's basically how I see it. 
Um, yeah. and if anyone could do it, it's King. So I'm very excited oh, to God. see how uh, this unfolds. This is going to be an interesting one. I'm definitely going to tune in as much as I can. I know it's in the uh, London area. So if you're in Europe, um, you know, it's not going to be easy watching it uh, maybe one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I'll definitely be watching like some of the bots and everything, see how they go about it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I know we're talking a lot of go world, go, you know, go battle league and all that stuff. Let's get into some get good, get wrecked. Here we go. PVP section. Oh, <laughs> so GBL is, uh, what is GBL at right now? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, uh, I think it's it, just summer cup, a summer cup and the ultra league, right? I think that's right um yeah i'll be cup. real i have not been paying that much attention to gbl recently yeah i've been kind of like semi okay just doing what i can but i mean i haven't even done that much in the ultra league i don't know ultra league has been good for me back then now it's kind of like eh. <laughs> um <laughs> summer cup seems cool i just don't remember the meta right now let me see if i can actually remember just by looking at it uh so summer cup is fifteen hundred limited selection of fire, electric, water, normal, grass, and bug type Pokemon's. That's an interesting meta. Uh, let me see if I have anything eligible. I got quite a bit of stuff. Oh, my Snorlax at fifteen hundred or fourteen ninety nine with hat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's bad, but whatever. Uh, Beedrill will be kind of nice. Swampert is still pretty good. Um, yeah, there's still Ooh. some cool eligible Pokemon's in here. That can destroy it if, if you don't do well, if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and then, of course, you know, the Ultra League. You guys want the, the Ultra League. It's open Ultra League, too, so it's going to be interesting, if to say the least. Um, and then we got a little bit of uh, Factions update, which... Uh, take it away, Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you weren't here the last podcast, uh, I mentioned that Pure Letter, you know, Maybe a bit interested in joining the squad mm -hmm. of uh, Switch Masters as the Master League Specialist. Well, he has been picked up. <laughs> he has been entered into Switch Masters. And uh, I cannot wait to see how far he comes, how much he destroys. Or gets wrecked. Are you excited? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, it's been a while since I actually got into some type of competitive PvP in Pokemon Go. I kind of just wanted to see what I could do in the format that I love the most, which is Master League. One of the reasons why yeah. I was actually raiding Palkia for such a long time is because, uh, or getting F Extra Large Candy, is because I did want to get the level 50 Palkia. Uh, the reason why I haven't powered up yet, because two Smashters, or at least the Fractions, uh, as far as I know, We'll have limited pool of Pokemon that you can use throughout some of the specialists out there. So uh, in the Master League, yes. they might ban a couple of Pokemons, and I want to make sure that I'm ready for those types of bans. And if that's the case, I'll be able to power up Pokemons to their max levels if, if so, are able to get it to that point, of course. So, And also, hopefully, don't limit a lot of Pokemons to uh, level 40s or level 41s, of course, because of the best body in that part. Nah, nah, they, they shouldn't do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm happy about it. I'm definitely going to be rating Station when it comes back. Um, hoping that by the time it actually comes back, I might be able to get a level 50 ready to go for something like that. Uh, so I am I am investing a little bit of time and Stardust once the factions actually do happen. Which, do you know when they're uh, about to post things? Or are we still on break uh, for I I'm pretty sure we still have like at least a month. Okay. Uh, but we should be getting metas and everything uh, very soon, okay. I believe. So that gives uh, me plenty of time, knowing the station is only going to be back for just a couple of weeks anyways. So I'll definitely be yeah, ready for no this. Um, and then, of course, you know, whatever comes out, again, I do have quite a bit of extra large candy for a lot of Pokemons out there. I may have to start working on my Dialga, uh, 98, shiny Dialga, with 15 attack. Shh. <laughs> uh, but, st <laughs> but it's still going to be kind of nice. Again, to... Just see how well I can do in a competitive format after a, such a long break. The last time I really got into, you know, any type of competitive was even before GBL started. And uh, Silt Arena was a big, big, big thing. 
that I was able to participate, of course, in the season one uh, regionals up to that point. So uh, I want to see what, how far I can go. Hopefully I don't, you know, disappoint the team. Uh, if that's the case, of course, uh, just keep thinking about it in the end of the day. That would take a lot. That would take a lot. Uh, a lot of us don't even want to touch Master League with mm. a 10 foot stick. Oh, God. Um, I know you love it. Uh, so I'm very excited. Um, I will definitely be competing with you mm. to see who will get more wins by the end. If anything, just to keep you in a competitive mindset. All right. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, so that is. <laughs> That is all the news that we have right now. We'll keep you updated on the factions, of course. And yeah, I really think that this is uh, almost a finale to the summer, to an amazing summer that we had had so far. Uh, a lot of lots of things that happened and a lot of things that I'm glad that it did. So um, just to end, of course, today's podcast, we do have our topic question of the week. This week's question will be, of course, which moment this summer has been your favorite so far? Um, definitely for me would be, of course, going to Gofis and then just meeting up um, a, a lot, a bunch of people from the, uh, uh, Airbnb and the creators out there, the podcasters, um, just, it was just an amazing time. I'm glad to have met them. Uh, Chris, any favorites from this summer so far? Um, the ones that pop into my mind, I suppose, are, uh, when, uh, we were able to start doing, uh, raid hours. Uh, together again mm. um i don't remember if it was groudon i want to say it was groudon yeah um you know where we we were able to just uh ride around the college campus and uh get a bunch of those uh done with the community it, it was just crazy to me uh to start seeing you know pretty much full raid groups again yeah uh, i i couldn't imagine it yeah and, and that's uh, a great point to go about it since you know we're getting so close and Niantic is doing so much to incentivize people to just really go out and play. And I'm glad that this summer has been a good stepping stone in that direction. I know that things are still going to be a little bit hard for a lot of players. I know that the community are still kind of worried about how the world is working right now, but we're getting there. We're getting to a point where we know that we can go back to a more normalized type of gameplay, go out, play the game, you know, meet up with friends. That's how, what Pokemon Go is all about. And this summer really did t in touch into that. So I'm glad that that's how uh, they gave us in the end of the day. So with that being said, Chris, anything else you want to add before we end the podcast? Um, Earlier I said Drake's cape. I meant Lance's. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, for anyone screaming right <laughs> ah anyways um with that being said thank you so much for listening to the podcast and being here on stream uh if you are if you want to listen to us more and of course make sure that the podcast will be a podcast feed you can social uh, you can follow our socials or the podcast feeds of course in apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, our Raiders, spotify any of the wonderful places that you want us to listen us to if you can leave us a review we, a review we would greatly appreciate it uh, socials for myself or at least to the po Purify Podcast our Twitter at Purify Podcast myself at Pure Let It Go and Chris at Pokemon Trigger please uh, you can email us anything info or anything you want to talk about for the Purify Podcast at gmail.com you can also join our Discord the links is always in our channels uh, and if you want to see more of the Purify Podcast we will have information at the PurifyPodcast.com or the Professor Network uh, .com. so with that being said Chris Take us away for the night. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I hope anybody that has a Pokemon Go Fest ticket or does not uh, definitely enjoys that event coming up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, the wonderful Calm Day coming up uh, uh, this Saturday. Um, if the podcast is out uh, before that, I, I think I'll, it will I'll be. I'll make sure I'll have um, it out by Saturday. Fabulous. Um, so, you know, I hope you guys get your, uh, very colorful zigzagoons, uh, get that obstruction and, uh, you know, enjoy your, uh, summer, uh, get out there with friends and, uh, catch all the Pokemon you want to catch and, you know, uh, have a good one and we'll see you next week. Peace out guys. Keep purifying them and we'll see you guys next time.